Hello again. I in the last two videos I talked about azimuths and bearings. And now that we know what an azimuth is and what a bearing is, I want to start putting azimuths and bearings on lines, on surveyed lines where we measured these interior angles. So to do this in the field, say we measured interior angles in the field, you have to start somewhere with the total station. We're saying we set up on point one and we back site point four and we turn an angle to point two and it's always what? It's always to the right. So it's always this way to the right. And we're saying that angle is 60 degrees. So the angle 4, 1, 2 is equal to 60 degrees. I'll write that down. That's in the field. We measure distances too, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm just, just working with angles. And then we move up. We move up to 2. And we're going to back sight 1 and turn an angle to the right to 3. That's the foresight. When you, you would set zero on this, zero degrees, turn an angle to right at point three, wherever point three would be. So that angle from one, two, to three is 85 degrees. Then I set up on three, back sight two, turn an angle to four. I'm saying that angle. Two, three, four is 110 degrees. Same thing, set up on four, back sight three, turn an angle to one. So three, four, one, now I'm saying is 105 degrees. Whoops, 100, no, not that, 105 degrees. And what does that add up to? In surveying, we define an angle, a closed polygon, as being the number of degrees in a closed polygon is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So n, where, where n is the number of sides number of uh, corners, number of corners in the polygon. Okay, so here we have how many corners? One, two, three, four. So four corners. Four minus two times 180 is, well, times 180 is what? Well, so 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 times 180 is 360. So do all these angles add up to 360? If they don't, then we have error in our traverse. So let's see if they do add up to 360. So 60 plus 105 plus 110 plus 85. So this is 10, 0, 1, 8 and 6 is 14, 15, 16, 6, 1, 3, 360. So we're good. We have no error in our traverse. So we take these angles into the, into the office. We know it's a closed, this is called a closed traverse. We close back onto 1. This is a closed Traverse. Not traverse, it's traverse. And that's also called a loop, traverse loop. Okay, so we learned about azimuths. So I'm defining north is straight up, and I'm saying that this line from 1 to 2 has an azimuth going this way. Oops, going this way as an azimuth equal to 170 degrees. 
right? That would be from north going like this, 170 degrees. So, once we have that, we want to get the, so now what the, what the whole point of this is, is get the azimuth from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 1. And there's a, a certain way to do this, and I'm going to show you it right now. So we have the azimuth from 1 to 2. The azimuth from 1 to 2 is equal to 170 degrees, we said. So now we want the azimuth, we want the back azimuth. This is the forward azimuth, forward azimuth, from 1 to 2. So now the back azimuth, going the other way, is what we say. We add 100 and 180 degrees. So we add 180 degrees to this. And that would be the back azimuth, 2 to 1. So that is 0. 8 and 7 is 15. 5, 1, 3. 350 degrees. So the azimuth from 2 to 1, right, is 350 degrees. And another way we can look at that is if we put the north line right on 2. Right? We put the north line right on 2. Okay, this is north right now. And it's the angle going around here, right? So that looks like 350 degrees to me. So we did that right. <clears throat> so now we want to get the azimuth going from 2 to 3. So the forward azimuth. Forward azimuth. From 2 to 3. Is equal to what? We have to add this 85 degrees, right? We have to add this 85 degrees to our to our going to 350, right? So that's going to be 80 plus 85, the interior angle of 85 we measured in the field. So what is this going to be? This is going to be five. This is going to be a 13. So what? 435, 435 degrees. Well, we only go up to 360, right? Azimuths only go up to 360 degrees. So we have to subtract 360 from this, from this 435, and that'll what? That'll give us our azimuth off of north here, right? It takes away this little bit, and it's going to give us this. Okay, so minus minus 360 is going to be our well it's going to be our forward azimuth from same thing it's going to be our forward azimuth from 2 to 3 okay so this is going to be 5 4 3 13 7 75 degrees. Seventy-five degrees. So that's our azimuth from two to three. So then we want to get our azimuth from three to two. Well, I'm almost out of time, I see, so I'm gonna continue this in the next video. We just finished, now we want to try to get the back azimuth from 3 to 2. See you in the next video.